What's up guys, here in beautiful Tampa, Florida. Getting ready on this beautiful Saturday to take the Titan fleet here, all the way down to St. Pete, Fenoy Park for Festival of Speed. All these cool ass cars are coming from around the state, Festival of Speed, and you know Titan's got to show out. We're gonna go down there, set up all the cars today, set up the tent, so we're fully prepared for this huge event tomorrow. And luckily I got some of our beautiful staff here to help me drive some of these cars down here. And, uh, it's gonna look a, a little crazy, I think, on the road. And people oh, are gonna definitely, sure. uh, right? We got a nice little Titan parade of our own going on, on the highway. I'm sure we'll get a couple, couple looks. So me, <laughs> Sharice, my beautiful wife, we got Lee over here and Destiny, and we're gonna drive these bad boys down here. We're gonna be rolling down there. It's gonna be crazy. Five Titan vehicles on the road rolling at one deep. time. It's gonna be a Titan train. <laughs> so uh, come along with us. I got the GoPro strapped to the, the front of the car, which Sharice's gonna be driving this McLaren here. And hopefully we're gonna get all kinds of cool footage for you guys. So come along on the Titan journey and let's go down to Villard Park and set these bad boys up for festival of speed. Let's come along. Go. It's go time, let's go. What's up guys, we're finally here at Vinoy Park. The fleet made it down here safe, thank God. And uh, right now it's just a beautiful day out here. It's not as hot as we want it to be, but it's not too, too cold either, right? It's got a little breeze, it might be a little breezy tomorrow, about 60 degrees. So uh, we're gonna enjoy it. As long as the sun's out, there's no rain, that's a beautiful thing. We're out here right now, we're setting up, you know, even us as the owners after 11 and a half years will still help set up the booze. We've got no problem with that. We like to make sure everything is right where it needs to be, quality check, up to the tight medical center standard. We're out here doing our part, and we're gonna start setting these cars up after we get these tents set up. We gotta get our base, our foundation of where we're gonna be set up at, and then fan those cars out so people can see them. So right now we're staging the cars, we're getting them all set up. We got four cars, so we're trying to make sure we got them all set up. We always gotta set them up right so they look good when they come in. And we're perfectionists, so at that point, we're just gonna go through it a million times until we get it how we want it, perfect. We're setting up the cars right now, making sure everything is OCD perfect Cherie style. <laughs>
the beautiful My Day and Amanda with me. And we are over at Benoit Park for Festivals of Speed, the first one in 2024. So follow along as we take you through our day. What's up guys, John here. I'm Sharice. With my beautiful wife, Sharice. <laughs> and we are here at Festival of Speed here in downtown St. Pete at Benoit Park. It's been a beautiful day out here. It's a little chilly, but you know what? That sun came out, it ain't too bad. When the breeze comes off, it might hit you a little bit, but don't worry, there's a ton of people out here, so body heat is everywhere. And you know what? With all these beautiful cars and all this testosterone out here, you guys are gonna be set, I promise. But we're out here enjoying. There's a whole bunch of car enthusiasts out here and a whole bunch of beautiful rides. So we're out here just talking with the community, enjoying the time, showing off some of the Titan fleet, and just, you know, enjoying it, right? Yeah, I like cars. I love cars, obviously, as you guys can see. But this is always a great event, great yeah. turnout, yeah. and I'm excited to have our, uh, you know, Smurf fleet is what I call it. <laughs> <laughs> I call it the Superman fleet, she called it Smurf fleet. It is what it is. But when you see that blue coming, you know Titan's right there. So uh, you guys aren't down here today, don't worry. All this video, all the behind the scenes, and all the other cool stuff that you're gonna see here, we're gonna have for you on video. So make sure you stay tuned. Man, we've been out here for a little bit. It's been so cool. So many different people coming up, loving the Titan cars, asking us what we're doing. So that's a great thing, right? And then get to see so many different people that we know. Because we're in St. Pete, so it's not that far from Tampa. It's the Tampa Bay area. So all our friends are out here, or a lot of different friends that we know, and a lot of good people. And some people I haven't seen in a while. Plus, there's some really, really cool businesses here. And I know the business owners, so it's good to see them out here. We're all interacting with the community. It's just, it's just a good event, man. It's, it's, it, this is good quality, clean, fun for everyone. So many people here, man. There's a lot of people here today. Definitely a lot. What's up, guys? John here, and I'm with my beautiful wife, Sharice. Hey, everybody. And with my good friend, Trevor. Hey, how's it going? Remember this face, guys, because this is the owner of Tampa Ducati. That's right, it's one of the most prestigious motorcycles in the whole world. So if you guys are looking for the best, you guys better go to my man here, Trevor, and go to Ducati. So stay tight and strong all day, and I hope you guys are enjoying your day just like we are here at Festival Speed at Benoit Park in St. Petersburg, Florida. What's up guys? We're finishing up Festival Speed today. Beautiful day here in Benoit Park. We're finishing with a bang. So we're going to put the Titan tents down, get everything put away, get everything all stored up, and we got to head out of here. They said we ain't got to go home, but we can't be here. So at that point, we're going to walk. Um, you know, we've got the Hellcat we're going to be taking home. Red Eye Hellcat jailbreak. We've got the Corvette Chevrolet That's my, bar my Barbie car, okay? My Barbie car. we got the Lamborghini or Aventador right here. That's also one of my other Barbie cars. So, I'm kidding, that's just And then we're, we're, we're going to finish up right here, right, with the McLaren. So the full Titan fleet was out here all wrapped, and I've got the Escalade back over there that we're going to be packing up with all the tents and all the cool stuff. So we're going to finish on a high note. We're going to pack up everything and take these cars out of here so we can go home and get ready for the week because we got to help all of our Titan Medical Center patients out. So we will see you guys at the next event. Later, guys. See you then. Shop now online at TitanMedicalCenter.com where you can choose from a wide variety of premium sportswear. Just like everything else at Titan Medical Center, you can expect the highest standard and quality from our services to our therapies and much, much more. 
For more information about Titan Medical Center, call or text us today at 727-389-3220 and start on your journey to becoming the best version of yourself. What's up, guys? John here, my beautiful wife, Sharice. Hey, everybody. And we're back with another tight medical movie review just for you. Just for you. So this week, we got to go out and get to see, uh, you know, maybe a, a childhood favorite back in the day when you were growing up. Well, because we're so old, or uh, I'm so old. Oh, uh, was Willy yeah, Wonka, right? Old, so we went and seen Wonka. Wonka is the new spin on Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory and the Golden Ticket and all these great things, right? So. Honestly, I didn't watch the, the trailer to come into this movie. I know it's done pretty well. It's been out for a couple of weeks now and it's been kicking butt in the box office, but there ain't been that much competition either. So, I mean, Beekeeper was really good. So at that yeah, point- Yeah, that was good. But it's still BDR Beekeeper. So I'm like, listen, I gotta go see this movie. Plus I've seen the previous ones with Johnny Depp and Gene Wilder, who was the original Willy Wonka. Yeah, uh, those were good. And yeah, those were really good. Yeah, really Super good, good you know, right? So at this point, I was, you know, I had high expectations for this movie. I know it's been doing good. Let's go see it. So we go there. We go start to see the movie Willy Wonka, and it's like a, a prequel, right? So um, it's a different spin of where we're directing this movie. I don't even know who the director was. Usually, I can tell you who the director was, but I really didn't care. Um, but it was a different spin on it you know, as far as a prequel. I thought it had some pretty good, you know, it had a pretty good storyline. You know, across that the board. That storyline saved the movie. Um, it was it was pretty good, you know. I, now listen, the Oompa Loompa was Hugh Grant, and he definitely, definitely was the premier spot in this movie as far yeah. as- he, Carried the- he, he definitely did. Like, if I had to say like, what were the highlights of this movie and who would I really want to see the this Oompa movie? Loompa. It'd be the Oompa Loompa. <laughs> now, back in the previous movies, you've seen him a lot more. and this one, you don't see him as much. So at that point, like it's a prequel. So, you know, you find out kind of the backstory of, how Willy Wonka met the Oompa Loompa to introduce him to the other Oompa Loompas, I guess, right? I like the fact that they put together a story about how Willy Wonka got to be Willy Wonka. Yeah. You know, so that was cute. It was pretty good. Yeah, I like that part. Yeah, the only thing that I don't like in, in any movie, and you know what? La 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 la! The, My name's John! Scene. I it, love musicals! It's so fun! It la, wasn't la, la. like all out musically, but it was. It, it was, was enough to get on our nerves. Definitely, 100%. <laughs> and I, listen, in the originals, like, you know, Jamal, the Oompa Loompas, when they sing those songs, it was a story, right, that they were singing. So you kind of, I don't know, as a kid, you don't really care. Yeah. As an adult, you're like, listen, I don't really want to hear these guys singing all the time. So. We expected some singing, though. I expected some. Yeah. I expected some. You know what? It's it still, in, in general, the movie was really, really good. I, I, yeah, I thought it was yeah, good. It was, it was pretty good, you know? I like the storyline. I like the storyline, you know, and some of the characters together. Uh, um, you'll see it for yourself, for sure. <laughs> and, you know, in the other movies, like, you know, you've seen, like, these different lessons that were taught by the chocolates or the candies, right? Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, remember, in the yeah. original, like, you know, like, the beauty girl, like, she, she went and ate the chocolate, or the, the one candy, she became a big blueberry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yep. her out, like, it was different storylines where I, I like the old school way of, of that, but... I mean, John, it's it's 2024. They can't kill children. They didn't kill children <laughs> back then. <laughs> They had to just beat them out. You know? so, oh, okay. Children disappeared in Charlie Charlie it's Chocolate lessons, Factory. lessons, okay? It's lessons that we taught. That's what I'm <laughs> but uh, listen, for all in all, it was a pretty good movie. I'm going to give it three stars out of five. I thought it was pretty good as far as that goes. Do I think it was the best? No. Do I think it would beat the other two? Definitely not. But I think that you should go see it if you do like Willy Wonka because it does add a, a little twist twist and spin on, on the movie so at that yeah. point i think you guys will enjoy it too as well i thought it was pretty good what about I you? Mean, um i mean i'll give it a a, a 2.3 you know i guess it's pretty good for sure <laughs> <laughs> 2.3 <laughs> 2.3 <laughs> you know i mean halfway to 2.5 um yeah 2.3 i mean it was okay I, I i i'm used to seeing right with when you hear wonka just wonka you automatically think like really cool bright things right and like visual things and like 
things that are cool when you're looking all across the screen you're like wow that's so cool oh that's cool there's really only like very small amount of clips in this movie mm -hmm. correct me if i'm wrong no, you're right. a very small amount of clips in the movie that showed all of this like cool colorful stuff so it really really was just a story but i think my expectation i was really expecting some like cool visual stuff yeah, like some vibrant granules. i mean yeah it should have been really awesome. you know how willy wonk was in the past this was a little bit different as far as that goes so you guys be the judge. Yeah, you be the judge. So how many? You said two point three. Two point two. Two point two. I think, it, I think it just went down. <laughs> it just went down. Up no, it two. It was definitely two. Yeah, don't worry. You're lying to me. You're lying to me. see what it is. Two point two. Yeah, two point three. Yeah, two point three. So listen, I'm gonna give it a three point oh. Uh, she's gonna give it a two point two. I mean, go see it for yourself. Do not take our review. If you got kids, they're probably gonna love this movie. Oh yeah, for sure. For sure, 100. percent If you're a kid at heart and you like Willy Wonka, go check it out. Ain't no better time than movies just to chill, relax, especially your loved one, and enjoy a good movie. So this would definitely be it, and hopefully it'll take you back to when you were. All right. So that's another tight medical movie review just for you. We'll be back with another movie. Hopefully it's a little bit better than Willy Wonka's movie here, Wonka. Not me, girls. I already saw that trailer. Ooh, so I, I don't think we're going to be reviewing that. Oh, maybe we should. <gasps> yeah, we should. Yeah, we should. Yeah. So maybe we'll go see that one next. Okay. You never know. Yeah. We'll, we'll come back with another Stay time tuned. review. And we'll be honest for you guys. But like I said, don't take it from us. Go see it yourself. I've been a patient with Titan Medical Center now for three years, and it has changed my life tremendously. They always follow up with me and make sure that my blood levels are optimal, which I think is very important with everyone, because with blood work, you're able to determine where you're deficient. One of my favorite Titan Medical Therapies is the ECA Stack Plus. The ECA Stack Plus gives me a tremendous amount of energy with no crash later on, which allows me to stay focused all day throughout work because I do have a physically demanding job. And another thing I love about the ECA Stack Plus is even after work, I still have enough energy to spend time with loved ones and go do different activities with them without just wanting to go home and crash. I would definitely recommend Titan Medical Center to anyone who's trying to become the best version of themselves. For more information on becoming a Titan Medical Center patient, call or text us today at 727-389-3220 or visit us online at titanmedicalcenter.com. What's up, guys? I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. That's right. Every week, me and my little beautiful wife right here... I'm not little. ...are bringing you guys great <laughs> tips, tricks, and things that will hopefully ignite, entice, and enhance your relationship to a whole new level. And if you're not in a relationship, don't worry. This will set you up, hopefully, for a future successful relationship with your partner. All right. So let's get into this week's topic. So every week, me and my wife are bringing you guys topics that either we come across with somebody that we know or something that we've had in the past, like, you know, or we went through. Um, so this week, you know, I, I got some inspiration from somebody that I was talking to. But, oh, boy. Yeah. yeah I'll but, tell me the story later. Yeah, but, you know, I'll tell you the story now. I ain't going to say his <laughs> name. But, um, you know, I, I started talking to him yesterday and stuff like that, and he, you know, he brought up some points, you know. Um, why affection is very important to give. Right? When you're in a relationship, when you're dating, uh, when you're married, all these things, you know, when you're going through these these times, right, with your partner, it's really, really important to keep showing affection. No matter if it's the first date or you're 20 years into a relationship yeah. or marriage or whatever it is, and you know, over time, you know, things might dull down a little bit, right? Um, you know, it's not the honeymoon phase. And you know, you guys have your busy lives and routines out there. And you know, sometimes you might forget about the affection portion, right? Um, and the, you know, the touching or you know, the emotional relationship too, as well, because that goes along with affection. Mm -hmm. So when we talk about this, we talk about affection, and this is giving to your partner, whether it's a kiss, a hug, you know, a talk to, right? You know, because emotional affection can happen too, as well, mm -hmm. when you're complimenting them or talking to them about something nice about themselves. 
Um, so it's really important, and this gives your, your your partner confidence in the relationship, in you. That you still love them. Yeah, Or right? you still think that they're sexy, or you yeah. still think that they're hot, you know. Well, they don't have an expiration date. Yeah, I don't have an expiration date. John needs to tell me that. <laughs> I, I mean, uh, I personally like when John just, you know, just barely just pinches my butt when I walk by. It's yeah, cute. And I'm yeah. like, oh, you, you still love me? You, yes. think I'm, you think I'm sexy? You know, it also <laughs> has your partner that, you know, you're thinking about him, right? You know, it's not just, oh, bye and see you later. Um, you know, so when I was talking to this person, he was telling me about his relationship. And he was saying, that, you know, he's married. He's been married for over 20 years. Uh, loves his wife and everything like that. But the wife doesn't show him any affection, right? Hasn't shown him affection in years, right? right? And so we were talking because he was going on some therapies and mm. such. And when we were talking about the therapy, I told him because he wanted to go on testosterone replacement therapy, hormone replacement therapy. He's over 50 years old, right? His levels are low, right? And he's doing everything right now, exercising properly, nutrition properly, sleeping. He's doing all these great things. He's got a business going for himself and the whole nine. Very proud of him. But he wants to take it to a different level. He wants to feel better every single day. So at that point, he did the blood testing. It showed low levels, came with the provider. Now he wants to go on hormone replacement therapy. He started, bam. He started, right? And I told him, I said, He's Listen, ready for some bam, bam. In two weeks, right, <laughs> your engines are going to be revved up. You're going to turn the back the clock on the internal side, and you're going to feel like you're in your 20s, man, maybe early 30s, whatever it is. But you're going to feel revved up, whether it's libido action, physically, right, uh, with maybe more erections or all these things that are going to come along with it. And you're, you're going to want some relationship. He's going to need some partner. affection. You're going to need some affection. He's going to um, need more than affection. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, you know, with that, you know, the, the, the partner just doesn't want to do anything with him. Like, you know, like, he's like, you know what? He's like, I don't know what to, feel, I don't know what to say about this or feel like it. It feels like it's just a, a partnership, right? Oh, we've, that we've been, gets tough, We've been too. married for 20 years, and we have all these things attached to each other. So it's almost like a business relationship, and it's not even like, you know, a loving marriage anymore, right? So, you know, I, I feel for him. I'm like, man, I'm like, you know, this sucks. I'm like, you really, you know, he's trying to go out of his way to do the right thing and, and be right by her and everything like that. But there's certain things that people need, right? Humans that were put on this earth, we have needs of, 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 of things, right? Whether it's relationships need to be cared or cared about, love, feel love, important. Right? You, you want to be. Right? Right. Not everybody gets that, but the people that do, like, they want it, right? Everybody, I think, searches for that. Everybody has a, a romantic. Uh, fantasy of some sort of who they want and how they want to be treated out there. So with this, you know, I told the guy, I'm like, listen, I'm like, you got to, you know, do what you're going to do. But I was like, you know, remember. Communication. Communication. But if you communicate this to your partner and they're not reciprocating or don't want to yeah. reciprocate, then what are you going to do, right? Because, you know, my thing to him was, I said, listen, you know, you have one life, right? So if you go through the rest of your life and you're 50 years old right now, say, let's say you got 25 good years left. You're going to die at 75, wow, maybe 30, time. 80, right? That's good time there. It, it, you got some good amount of time left in your life, right? And you want to make sure that while you can do these things and live right and give 100% in all aspects, that you're able to do this and you're going to enjoy life. So that's the other thing about it, right? You got to talk to your partner and say, listen, you know, this is the main complaints or this is what we really have to fix because this is how I'm feeling. And like I said, they should want to, you know, reciprocate or some way, shape or form, communicate back to you on maybe what they can do or what can happen. Because some people, you know, they have health problems or health issues and they can't perform different things. Right. Um, so but that, that's where other things come into play, though, right? Aspect, I mean, yeah. it's not all physical. I mean, as soon as you hear affection, you think like physical. Yeah. It's not all physical. It's definitely mental and being able to connect with them, sure. talk with them. For sure. You know, you're putting time aside for them, like even carving out time for them is technically giving them affection because you're showing them, hey, you're important and. You know, I, I want to know how your day went or whatever it is. And me personally, I have some like solid rules, right? And you guys should have solid rules too, right? And they're, they're such, they're the smallest, like itty bittiest rules, but they're rules, right? And every once in a while, I, I miss the rule. And, I, I, and it makes me think, especially since John usually falls asleep before me, um, you know, one of the rules is I, I always give him a kiss goodnight. You know, like it's unless he's already sleeping, then I'm like, oh, well, miss that boat. But typically it's like, you know, always give me a kiss that night. Hey, I love you. Give me a kiss that night. Right. Same thing in the morning. You know, hey, I love you. Give me a kiss in the morning. It's just a rule. And that's my rule. Right. So that everybody else, you can make up your own rule of like, OK, every day I'm going to do this one thing and I'm going to dedicate to remember to do this one thing. It could be something as small as that. 
and you're showing them like, hey, listen, I love you. I still care for you. It needs to be a real kiss, not like a just a, a fake kiss. You know, the fake. I know you guys know what fake kisses are. You know, and when you're out in public, you hold hands. And, you know, if you're in bed, maybe snuggle or, you know, these little things that, you know, th that you do, I think makes a huge difference in a relationship. Huge. Yeah. It's small, small things, yeah. small things. The minor things uh, make big details. That's how I like to say it. Oh. You know, small things add up to a big result, right? So it's important every single day that you're doing these things. And if you forget one day, listen, make up for for the next day, maybe a double, right? In the morning, <laughs> maybe at night, whatever it is. And show an affection, like could be cooking dinner too as well. Mm -hmm. It could be getting flowers. You know, it could be taking them to a special place that maybe you and them share. And it doesn't have to be anything fancy. It doesn't have to be a lot of money, right? Uh, it's just something that you're doing that's genuine from your heart, from your soul. And that will come across to your partner, I think, in, in more ways than one. And they'll really appreciate these things. And like I said, hopefully, they'll reciprocate right back to you. And that will make you feel better, too, as well. Write him a letter. And that, that brings both Write people Write him a up. note. Leave him a love note. Anything. Anything. Anything to start, right? It could be anything. Bring him, bring him food. Pick up after them. Do some laundry. Yeah. It's the little things that, you know, you might take for granted. But then you realize, oh, yeah, you know, I appreciate that. Like, I love that about him or, you know, her or whatever it is. I do believe, though, like, you know, physical touch is, is going to be a key it's thing. It's definitely when I'm a key. About this. Yeah. Affection, like I said, can be emotional. You can talk about it and all these different things. But true touch, right? And that doesn't mean you have to have sexual relations. But that is like, you know, you hugging, you kissing. Um, you holding hands, right? Or uh, scratches or, back. Or cuddling or whatever. Or whatever massages makes you, feet. Makes you guys feel good. <laughs> yeah, see, these, these are different things. So uh -huh. these, are, these are the secrets. You guys want to know the secrets? Yeah. Just scratch his back. Yeah, yeah. scratch his back. Yeah, he's uh, going to love that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I do this all night. <laughs> <laughs> but we're in a limited time, so. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> that was easy. So, guys, remember these tips and tricks and, you know, Put them in the back of your brain, write them down somewhere, put them on a voice memo so you can replay them and you can, you know, get all these things down. So when you do get in your relationship or if you're in a relationship right now, you can start adding these things in the relationship, hopefully, or maybe you're not in the situation that we've talked about, but maybe you might be there in the future. And then when you get to that point, you'll be able to bring these tools out of your tool bag and be able to use them the right way. And you'll have hopefully a successful relationship. Um, be loving, be happy, and uh, you and your partner will have a great time together too. So that is it for our Cupid's Corner. We're coming at you guys every Sunday, 11 a.m. on ABC. If you don't get to watch us live, DVR it. And if you don't do that, make sure you guys are going to our YouTube. You guys can check out all the cool Cupid's Corners there and a lot of other cool content that we have from Titan Medical Center. And if we can help you guys out in any way, shape, or form, with relationships, libido, or anything else, please call or text us at 727-389-3220 and we'd be happy to get you guys back on track, feeling better, looking better, and performing better. I'm down. Let's do it. All right, guys. <laughs> so I'm John. I'm Sharif. And we'll see you guys next week on another Cupid's Corner. See you then.